Hey guys, this is 101R Smith, and I'm back with something very familiar, but somewhat different. Today, I'm looking at the Gundam Fenice Renesita High Grade. If you guys know, if you guys watched a few months ago, I reviewed the Master Grade Fenice Renesita, and I thought for what it was, a recycled wing Gundam, it held up pretty good. And the review went so well that I was asked by Canadian Gundam to review the high grade version. They really wanted me to feel it out and see what were the stark differences between the high grade and the master grade. So here we are. So before we begin, I just want to say a big thank you for Canadian Gundam for sponsoring this video. They have a grand assortment of kits throughout their catalog, some very niche and some very hard to find. They also offer a flat $10 shipping fee for any kit that you buy all throughout North America. So go check them out and tell them that Reggie sent you. As you guys know, I am a Master Grade fan. I love the inner frame, I love the detail, I love the color separation, I love the usually seven inch scale. It's just big enough to not kind of be held back by its size, to be just kind of lumped in together but it's not too big that you just have to kind of like always figure out space. But sometimes a high grade can surpass a master grade. Sometimes it can do something that the master grade can't, or sometimes just you can hold it in your hands. It could be a lot more fun than being able to deal with the master grade with its intricate detail. And sometimes it's just a smooth sailing. So let's go check out this high grade and see what it has to offer. All built up and we have the Fenice Renesita in high grade form. I will say that the wings and the shoulders are a little bit big for my cup of tea. They have a bit of a cartoony feel but I know that the high grades aim for a more anime feel rather than the more intricate details of a master grade, especially with build fighters. I will say there's not that many stickers surprisingly, just the eyes, the camera. However, the shoulder detail on the yellow that was usually a separated piece is a sticker. And I don't know how to feel about that, especially since the high grade original Wing Gundam was able to do that with a separated piece. I feel that that's kind of taking a step back. Otherwise, it looks strong. It has the same colors that the Master Grade counterpart has, just lacking of surface detail and inner frame, and not so gay. It's just a fun build. It was smooth sailing. It took less than two hours. And overall, it feels great. But while it looks pretty good, let's take a look at its articulation. As we always do, we start with the head. The head is on a poly cap, so it has a lot of wiggle room. Side to side, front to back. And the traditional 360 degrees. But I will say that the armor pieces on the ears do make it a little bit hard so you don't want to make it get caught with the shoulder. The shoulder pad can go up, the arm can go up as well, but you got to be mindful of the polygon. It's not as sturdy. And 360 degrees if you don't mind the wings. The bicep can do a swivel and you're going to get a double jointed elbow. Hands are just the solid hands, nothing else, no expressive hands, which is very disappointing. You just get the one holding hand set and it can go 360 degrees, no problem. Waist is double jointed with two poly caps in there. 360 degrees in part due to the transformation, but you can do it. Front, front skirts are connected together, but you can take them apart. Side skirts are on poly caps that can go out on its own. Back skirts can go out as well. And you're going to get a decent amount of articulation on the legs, but the balance isn't that great. Double jointed knee, you have a lot of ankle articulation and toe articulation that can go up and down. The wings are on polycaps, can swivel up, down, sideways, and rotate 360 degrees, no problem. When it comes to weapons, the Fenice Renesita High Grade is going to carry over a lot from its Master Grade counterpart. Though, to be fair, the high grade did come first. You're going to get the Fenice Buster Shield and the Fenice Buster Rifle with the short tail bayonet counterpart that goes inside of it. And it's just kind of, again, solid detail, not as intricate as its Master Grade companion, but it has functionally, I feel that it works a lot better, in my opinion, because of the fact that 
Unlike the Finici Renesita Master Grade, this thing can pose on the ground with both of its weapons, no problem. It is a little disappointing that you only get the holding hands for the weapons. No expressive hands, but they are sturdy. They're rock solid and you can get a lot of the posing that you couldn't do on the ground with the Master Grade. It was a lot of fun to pose this up. You can get kneeling poses, standing poses, bending poses. A lot of these poses I couldn't even begin to imagine to do on my Master Grade without the action base and even then it could be a little finicky from time to time. As well, the Finitia Renesita comes with a Beam Saber, which is gray, and a Beam Blade. Your standard affair for a Gundam weapon, and it looks pretty damn good in my opinion. It could stand up, it could do fencing poses, attack posing, kneeling poses, because the knees aren't weighed down by the fact that the plastic isn't a combination of ABS and polystyrene, it's all polystyrene. So ironically enough, polystyrene is more effective in this kit. And of course, the Finetia Renesita would not be the same without its beam cape, except it's not as detailed as the Master Grade. I know I keep saying that, but it does matter. It's just one clear, hard piece that you connect to the side binders on the shoulders. And they're not as finicky. They actually hold up. They can pose a little bit. There's a little bit of articulation there, which rocks. And just like the Master Grade, it can light up if you have UV lighting. So I think that the accessories here, just because of the playability, is a lot better than the Master Grade. Simply because while it's simplified, it works better. And of course, it wouldn't be a Wing Gundam without Bird Mode. And I do think that the Master Grade version of Bird Mode is better. It is more simplified in the High Grade version, so you can transform and you don't need to pull out or interlock certain pieces of the side skirts to make it work but i feel like the master grade it really kind of had its bird mode in mind this one kind of looks a bit short in comparison i think the shield is a little bit too big and the wings ironically enough i was complaining earlier about them being too big i think in bird mode the wings are too small and i don't know Proportions don't favor it in bird mode. It did favor it more in MS form, but you can do bird mode. Just the proportions are a little wonky and this thing looks like, it reminds me a lot of Jupiter Gundam in a lot of ways. For comparisons, we have the Finici Renesita, both in master grade and high grade form. And quite honestly, this is about what you want. In my personal opinion, outside of the few stickers on the shoulders that I don't like, I'm finding that I'm having a lot of fun more with the high grade than I did with the master grade. Yes, the master grade looks better, it has greater detail, there's a lot more build quality in a sense with the master grade, but the thing with the master grade is just being able to get it to stand like as you're seeing can be problematic because the knees are too weak because the knees, all the brand new parts are made of polystyrene, while as the Phoenicia Renesita is completely made of polycyclic, so I don't have the balancing issues. Though I will suggest getting an action base for any version of this. The weapons are easier to handle, I don't have to deal with weight issues, I don't have to deal with the fact that the Buster Rifle on the Master Grade cannot be held as well as I would like it to be because with the original Wing Gundam it had a clipping mechanism that I could just clip it on and be able to pose. I wouldn't have to deal with the weight issues. That gimmick is gone in the mass grade, but it didn't matter because with the high grade, there's no weight issues. I can hold up the buster rifle, no problem. So in a lot of ways, I do think the high grade is better, but at the same time, it just depends on your preference of what you're looking for. All right, guys, we're at the end of the review, and what can I say about the Finanche Brennan to high grade? I'm glad that I have it as part of my collection. I think it was a good choice. Again, I gotta thank Gunpla Network for providing me with this on my kit. This was a fun build, it's very straightforward, very fast. Less than two hours I was able to put this together. And the Finetia Renesita High Grade was able to do things I couldn't even imagine on a Master Grade because of the lack of balancing issues that were present. Yes, the surface detail is gone. Yes, you have to add a bit more stickers than I would personally like to on a kit. But if you just want a straightforward build, 
quick, easy. You don't really have to think a lot about it. You just want to get up and go. This is the version for you. And it is less than $20. And a bit easier than fine than its Master Grade counterpart. And I'm just really glad that I have this kit. And it shows you that sometimes, sometimes a high grade can do things better than a Master Grade. Or it has more accessibility than a Master Grade. So just take that with a cup of tea, sit with it, and decide which version you want for yourself. I am 101R Smith, and I will see you later. Peace.